Hi, I'm Shane from Admin Arsenal. Let's find large files on our network. We're going to use PDQ inventory. Now, to find files um, within your inventory application, you want to use a files scanner. So let's go ahead, go to our preferences, and uh, under scan profiles, these are the scan profiles that you uh, that you kick off. Um, you can always add a new profile or a new scanner to an existing profile, or you can create a new profile. Just for this example, we'll create a new one. I'm going to call this. Miscellaneous files. Uh, always recommend that you throw computer details uh, scanner into any scan profile. It's just kind of a best practice. Now we're going to do uh, files. You can have multiple files, uh, file scanners um, in each profile, just so you know. For this one, uh, we could say scan all disks, but we're going to make this a little easier. Tr generally try to go as specific as you can and still get the information that you need. So we're going to say look under C users. Let's look in the users directory. And we are going to traverse all subdirectories. And then in the file patterns, let's just look for, um, in this case, like uh, PSD files, and maybe um, ISO. So we'll look for PSD and ISO files. Obviously, grab whatever you want. You can type in full names. Uh, I like the splat in this case, the wildcard. Perfect. There's our scan profile. Now we have to scan our computers with this profile. So we'll come over, I'll go to the collection under the all computers. Notice there's the miscellaneous file scan profile, and we'll kick that off. And then I'll take a drink. So what we're going to do, um, wait for this to scan. We're going to look into just a couple of computers, be able to see, um, see the files that are picked up. Remember, we're only looking for, in this case, um, uh, ISO or PST. Open up a computer. If you go to the files panel, there you go. Any file scanner that's run that finds information uh, will be shown here. So we can see that's a 595 meg file. It's an ISO file. There's the path. Now we've also got a report that I've created. Go ahead and create just a basic report. I'll open this up so you can see. Go to the define report. Notice under the columns, I just said, show me the computer name. And then under the file table, we have three columns, the file name, the file path, and the file size. And then in filters, I simply said, uh, only show us files that are greater than, this value in the filters is in bytes. So I said, uh, greater than 5 million bytes. Well, if we hit run report, there's our larger files that we're interested in. And of course, we can probably see it. There's Schmendrick. That was the one that we opened up earlier. So that's how you do it. Um, you can also create, take this uh, report and create a collection, new collection from report. The cool thing about the collection, this uh, won't show you all the files, but it will show you the machines that have large files to, sh to see the actual files. That's where you want to report. But there's our large files. I had already created this. I forgot about that. And um, there you go. So if you have any questions, by all means, hit up our support forums. I'm Shane. Talk to you later.